guys, welcome back to Hobby Bowl. My name is Skylar and today is Mobile Suit Miss Day 11. Today I'm going to attempt to do this video in under five minutes. Now, if you've been on this channel a while, you know that that is quite a feat for me because I just like to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Trying to get better about that. So let's see if I'm up for the challenge today. <laughs> I don't have very, very, very much information aside from promotional pictures, but we are getting an SDEX version of the Sazabi and the new Gundam. Last time we saw Sazabi in an SD model, it was a BB SD model, which I don't have, surprisingly enough. I know, surprise, surprise, Sazabi is one of my favorite suits. But I do have the SD Generation GF model of new in the SD. And he is adorable. I was saving him to be able to recreate that famous battle scene from Char's counterattack, which by the way, if you have not seen Char's counterattack, I highly suggest you go see it. It's on sale everywhere, so you can get it for cheap cheap, and uh, you can get it from Right Stuff Anime, you can get it from Amazon, I'll put all the links in the description if you wanna check that out. But I wanted to recreate that famous scene where they're fighting each other with these SD bases. I'm a little obsessed with SD Gundams. I have just as many SD Gundams as I do any other grade of Gundam. And I just think they are one of the best entry level models or just an easy model kit to build if you don't want to think about it too much. You can find your favorite suit. You can dip your feet into the water if you're a brand new builder. If you've never built a model kit before, it's a little bit overwhelming. You can buy them anywhere from six to $10. Some of the little nicer ones are a little bit more expensive than that. They just have a few runners and you can figure out if you actually want to get into Gundam before you dedicate a whole bunch of money and a little bit of your sanity to the hobby. Anyways, what's really special about these guys is they ended up being SDEX models instead of the SD cross silhouette. The SD cross silhouettes are the SD models that have the frames on them that make them interchangeable with HG pieces. They look a little weird. You can make them look like the big head mod in GoldenEye from the Nintendo 64. You remember that mode? It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't really like the look of it, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of hilarious to see. I think Mecha actually did it. I think, let me see if I can find the video of where he did that, but it's just so ridiculous. Not that Mecha needs a shout out, but I'm sure all of you guys probably watch him. Yeah, so the SDEX line we thought was dead in the water and was never gonna come back. They are super simple, straightforward, really easy, uh, but highly detailed in my opinion. They're pretty detailed for what they are. Their stickers are crap, just like you would imagine. <laughs> they pop off after any length of time, but mm, I really like the SDEX line and I'm actually kind of excited that these two are going to end up being an SDEX. I'm gonna put all the promotional pictures that I have here of the kit. And that's pretty much it. These kits were an instant buy for me. It was super easy to make that <laughs> decision for someone who loves SDs as much as I do, for someone who loves Sazabi as much as I do, for someone who loves New as much as I do. It was an easy, yes, go ahead, pre-order. I should be getting it here soon and you guys will probably see it because I can't help but share it. I don't know if I made the five minute mark. Hopefully I made the five minute mark. If I did, good job, Skylar. Good job. Editing, Skylar, give Give this Skylar a pat on the back if I made the five minute. Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking along on this mobile suit mist journey. All of your support has meant the world to me. All of your compliments. I can't tell you enough how much I love the compliment of people saying that they're re-inspired or more inspired to get back to building after not building, whatever, all of that stuff. That is my favorite compliment and it makes me so eternally happy that you guys are starting to get a little bit more inspired to actually build and that means there'll be more of you. So like make YouTube channel so we can be friends. You can leave any comments down below or you can DM me on Instagram where I am most active. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day. 12. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 12. Day 12. Let's go. Bye. Day 12. I figured it out that if I decide to stop on the 25th, it's like 
14 more videos I have to do. And if I stop on the 31st, it's like 20 more videos. 20 more videos. Both of those are massive numbers. Nobody wants to hear me rambling forever and ever. That's probably why I should stream more. My Skylar rambling seemed like the perfect kind of feature that would make it really easy to stream if I weren't so terrified of it. <laughs>